Hello everyone, it's Angel from the Abernathy's Go Green. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to dive into a whole bunch of empties that I have accumulated towards the last part of 2018 and 2019 so far. Empties videos is one of my favorites to watch because this is when people usually review products that they have finished, so I feel like they have more of a feel of how the products work for them. I have a ton of products in front of me today, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with some hair care products. I finished the Desert Essence Coconut Conditioner and Shampoo. It says it's formulated for dry hair. I purchased this in the summer solely because of the scent. I was going crazy for the coconut scent. After trying that new body lip scrub that we got in a Petty Bore box, I just wanted everything to smell like coconuts. So I got these two and I was glad I did because they perform really well. I have curly hair and it tends to be dry but it's also very fine. So I need nourishing and hydrating hair care products that won't weigh my hair down at the same time. These two definitely fit the bill and they're like $8 on Vitacost or Pharmaca and they even carry it at Sprouts or any of those natural grocers. And then another affordable option is the Acure Ultra Hydrating Shampoo. This is in their old packaging and I've used this for many years. And then I feel like whenever they switch to this rectangular packaging, they call it Mega Moisture Argan Oil and Pumpkin. I think this is what the new packaging looks like for this one. I don't think it's as good as the old packaging. I don't know if they changed the formula, but I really don't feel like it's as good. I also tried their conditioner, which I think I ended up getting rid of because it's really not as good as the old packaging but like I said I don't know if they redid the formula or what but not a fan of the new packaging of the Acure and then on the more high-end side I have the True Botanicals nourishing shampoo and conditioner this came in a Beauty Heroes box I loved these two the scent is just amazing it has a very spa like scent but all natural it doesn't have any kind of synthetic fragrances so I really appreciated that about these they are $38 for 8 ounce of product though so although I love this and I want to repurchase it right away I think I'm gonna wait until they go on sale or if I have like a good coupon code that I can use but I love those the Grove nourishing wash also came with it same with the scent these don't smell the same the body wash and the shampoo and conditioner they don't smell the same this has more of a an orangey herbal scent that I also love. It's like major aromatherapy in the shower um, and I love the scent and it suds it up really nice and it doesn't dry out my skin. It's just perfect. And then another shampoo that I just picked up from Amazon for my husband actually is by Maple Holistics. This is their degrease shampoo. I've never heard anyone talk about this. It has really good ingredients. It is a cruelty-free brand also. But this is what the bottle looks like. It says it's for oily, greasy hair and itchy scalp. I got this for my husband because where he works, he gets really dirty. So I just thought he needed a shampoo that cleans better. And this one performed really well. And then I have four lotions. The first one is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Age Defy Hand Cream. This is a really good nice and hydrating hand cream that is not greasy, it just absorbs into your skin really well. I have two of these, I'm still working on the other one. One I bought on my own and then the other one came in a Petty War box. And it's just a really good solid hand cream. I use it in the summer and winter and it's perfect for both. It's not greasy, it just absorbs into your skin really quickly, leaves it nice and hydrated and moisturized. And then I have another Acure product in the rectangular packaging. I used and loved their body lotion in the old packaging, but the same with this. It seems like it's not as good as the old packaging. The problem that I had with this is, it used to be in a squeeze tube container. I thought it was perfect. I feel like the consistency of this is thicker, but then they put it in a pump bottle, so it was a pain to get out the very last bit. And then I feel like it was hydrating enough, but it needed more oil component to really seal in all of the hydration. So 
I was not a fan of this so the way I made this work was just I added my own body oils to boost that moisturizing capacity of this lotion that the old formula once had but this one does not and then I have two more desert essence product this is the coconut hand and body lotion that I picked up at the same time I got those the shampoo and conditioner because of the coconut scent and then after I ran out of this I did get the fragrance free version and they're the same formula this one just has the coconut scent and I know that they have a lot of other scents but I got the fragrance free just for every day very hydrating and moisturizing at the same time it has a very nice balance of the hydration and moisture that the new Acure seem to have lost so I love these two I have more of them in my bathroom and then the last hair care product that I have here is by Inner Sense. It's their Harmonic Healing Oil. This came in a Beauty Heroes box along with the leave-in conditioner and a shampoo and conditioner. Um, and this is my favorite product from the box. It took me a while to use it too because I just used it on the ends of my hair. It's very nice and moisturizing without weighing my hair down. It's very lightweight so I really like it. I am definitely going to purchase another one of these. And then I have three deodorants. The first one is by Jason dry spray deodorant in the scent fresh cucumber. This one just didn't work for me I know that a lot of people that can't tolerate baking soda will go for the alcohol based deodorants This really didn't work for me and then a deodorant that I picked up I think from PJ Maxx or something stink bug naturals all natural deodorant This one also didn't work for me. It's still pretty full also um, and it smells really good, it's in the scent lavender, but as far as odor protection, this provided none. And then the last one is by Schmitz, and it's in their scent Ylang Ylang and Calendula. This is one of my favorite scents, and I got this little baby one in a, if you go on their Schmitz website, you can get like a five pack of the little deodorants. I thought it'd be good for travel and to sample all of their different scents. But the Ylang Ylang Calendula is my favorite. I actually got a full size of this. And this does contain baking soda, so if you're sensitive to baking soda, Schmitz does offer a baking soda free option. Oh, I have one more hair product here. This is the Yoroke Feed Your Ends Leave-In Conditioner. I got this in a Petty War box. Beautiful product. I did get their mousse, and I feel like their mousse has really nice and nourishing ingredients. So I don't feel like I need a leave-in conditioner at the moment. But this is a really good one if you are needing a good leave-in conditioner. I have some superfood mixes, if you will. I got the powdered maki berry from Kiva. I just got this from Amazon. It's supposed to be really full of antioxidants. I like to mix, it, mix this in either my smoothies or yogurt in the morning. And then same with the maca powder. It's, maca is an adaptogen which helps your body deal with stress and I have gone through many of these little packets of the maca powder I use it in the same way as I did the maki berry I just mix it with my yogurts in the morning or in my smoothies and then this one I picked up from Vitacost it's the Nutribiotic Asorbic Acid Powder this you can ingest but really this lived under my bathroom sink to put in our bath a little teaspoon of ascorbic acid will neutralize the chlorine in your bath water if you didn't know that it's a little hack if you don't have a chlorine filter for your bathtub i also finished this four sigmatic mushroom hot cocoa mix i love this it tasted like mexican hot chocolate it has cocoa powder coconut palm sugar reishi extract cinnamon and cardamom extract and some organic stevia it's really good I really think that it's a little bit on the overpriced side though, but it's really good for travel. What I am doing now for my everyday is I just got powdered chaga mushrooms, which if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you would have seen it a lot already. And then I have three boxes of tea. The first one is Traditional Medicinals Organic Cup of Calm. I love this because it's not like a sleepy time tea, it's just like to help with calmness but not put you to sleep type of a calm. It has passion fruit, flower, chamomile, lavender, and catnip herb. I've heard of catnip used on cats, but never on humans. I don't know what it's supposed to do to us. <laughs> and then it also has rosemary, peppermint, spearmint, licorice, and stevia. So it's slightly sweet, um, very nice and flowery and minty at the same time. I like taking this to work with me to help with the calm. <laughs> and also after lunch, 
to help with digestion because it has that peppermint and spearmint in there. And then to help me with sleep, I have the traditional medicinals Nighty Night with Valerian. Valerian doesn't smell good because I know that the, I've tried their plain Nighty Night before, but the, the addition of the Valerian, I think it smells a little funky. But I still drink it, it tastes really good. It has valerian, passionflower, lemon balm, peppermint, caraway, and licorice. One of my favorite um, nighttime teas. And then one by Yogi. This is their woman's moon cycle to help with supporting a healthy cycle. It has fennel, ginger, cinnamon, chamomile, raspberry leaf, anise, dong kwai, chaste tree, and juniper berry, and parsley. Those are herbs that's really good for women's health. I've heard many ladies talk about how it, this helps them with their cramping. I really don't get too much cramps whenever it's that time of the month for me, so I can't attest to that, but it's a really nice tea. Alright, now we're moving on to the more fun stuff. Some skincare products here. I have one, two, three, four, five um, face mask alchemy masks that are totally used up. I've talked about face mask alchemy here on my channel a lot. I have some videos doing those masks if you are interested i will link them down below but they are absolutely beautiful it's a subscription box for dry masks that you mix yourself and you kind of concoct your own little creations and i love that another mask is by formulary 55 a sea clay body mask to detoxify and tone this is supposed to be a body mask but the ingredients in here are dead sea mineral clay matcha powder activated charcoal and a blend of essential oils and I use this for my face and especially in my t-zone where I get a little oily and some congested pores really takes care of those congested pores um, one of my favorite masks for that and I have repurchased this and then this is a sheet mask this is the Andalou Naturals instant hydration hydro serum facial mask this is from their 1000 roses line and I reach for this whenever I need that boost of intense hydration whenever my skin is dry, especially now in the winter. I have a couple more of these as well as the um, the purple line. I think it's their like anti-aging line. I love that one too and also the orange line, the brightening line is very very good as well. And then I went through a 100% pure bright eyes eye mask to depuff and brighten and these are one of those gel masks that you put under your eyes and I swear whenever after you take this off all those little lines that you have under your eyes just disappear. The intense hydration just plumps them up. It's a beautiful product. Um, I recommend buying this from Pharmaca. They're always on sale. It's $30 for a five pack of this and it's always on sale for $25 and then they always have like a 20% off coupon on their website. So buy it from Pharmaca if you are considering it. And then I have a Suntegrity Vanish Organic Cleansing Oil. It's supposed to be really good at removing sunscreen because they are a sunscreen company, the Suntegrity is. I didn't find that it worked any better at removing sunscreen than any of my oil cleansers that I have. It's a non-emulsifying oil cleanser. So you do have to put either a hot washcloth or a warm washcloth on your face to help take it off. Or my favorite way to remove a non-emulsifying oil cleanser is by following it with a gel cleanser. And then I have a bottle here of the Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water. This is just water and rose essential oil. I use this to cleanse my face in the morning if I don't use a cream cleanser. I use this to mist my face while I have clay masks on so that way it won't dry on my skin. And then I also mist this on my face between my serum and cream moisturizer step to help the cream moisturizer absorb into my skin a little bit better. It's a really nice product, very well priced also. I already have another bottle of this and definitely a staple in my routine. Another staple in my routine, one of my best discoveries of 2018, is the Mad Hippie Hydrating Nutrient Mist. I have two of them here. I think, oh my goodness, I've gone through so many of them. I use this after washing my face, obviously spray it on my face and then just use my fingers to press the product in. It's so hydrating that in the summer, whenever my skin was a little bit more oily and, and very humid here where I live, I was able to get away with just washing my face, doing several layers of this, and then 
call it good. Like I didn't need to follow with a serum or a moisturizer. So if you have oily skin, definitely try this out. And if you have dry skin, this is going to be totally perfect for you also. It has vitamin C and a bunch of other antioxidants. So I really love this. It's just chock full of good stuff and it's like $15 on Vitacost. Another staple in my routine for sure. And then I did finish this one. This is the Gold Faden MD Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate. This is their little eye cream. It's a little sample that I got in a Petty Vore box. It's very lightweight so it just absorbs right into the skin. It's even more lightweight than the 100% pure coffee bean eye cream. So yeah, really like that. And then I have a little sample size of the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. And this is really good also. Very hydrating and nourishing to the skin as 20% zinc oxide, really good ingredients. And I think I really found a good dupe for this in the Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses CC Cream. If you want like a more affordable version of the Suntegrity, definitely check out that tinted moisturizer with SPF because I think it's a really good dupe for this. So here I have a couple of serums. This is the Andalou Naturals Turmeric Plus C Enlightened Serum. This is supposed to be brightening. I've been using this ever since the they had it in like a green packaging many years ago. I love it. We'll always go back to this. I don't think that it does anything as far as brightening, not that I've noticed, but it does have turmeric, which I love. It's just excellent at calming the skin. Of course, some vitamin C to brighten the skin. But like I said, I don't think I've noticed any form of brightening. Maybe it's prevented some things from happening, but um, a really good um, affordable option if you want a water-based serum. And then another one that is also quite affordable, I think it's a little like $5 more than this one, is the John Masters Organics Vitamin C Anti-Aging Face Serum. This I just fi finished recently. And this is also good. It's a little bit more gel-like than this one is. This one's a little bit more watered down, I think. This one has like hyaluronic acid, so you really feel that hyaluronic acid slip. Also a very good option. These two are some of my favorite, more affordable water-based serums. And then I have three masks here, three more masks. This one is the Aina mask. This is by Hanua Skincare. I have done a review of this on my channel before. I will link it down below if you're interested. But it's really good at slightly resurfacing the skin. It has activated charcoal in it so it detoxifies the skin also. Some chili peppers to help with micro stimulation. Just a very good mask. She has two masks in the line and I also like the other one, Moana mask. And I'm still working on that. And then another mask that I absolutely love is by Mahalo Skincare. It is The Bean. This one is if you love chocolate, you have got to try this or get a sample of it. It smells just intoxicating and that's what it looks like very sad and empty but it smells just like i said intoxicating chocolate like if you want to get chocolate wasted get this product <laughs> it says it's an antioxidant mask to detoxify purify and tone it's very good at also decongesting my horse it's got the antioxidants from the cacao and it has coffee bean also and i think green tea and it also has like activated charcoal to help detox detoxify the skin, so really good stuff. And then another one, I'm so sad to see this be empty again. This is my second jar of this. This is the Ayuna Essence. I also did a review of this. I will link it down below. I think this is my favorite product from, from the line, as well as their bar of soap. It's one of those gommage masks. You apply it to the skin like a thick layer, and then you roll the product off along with your dead skin and then you're left with some serum in your skin. I love to do this before I go to bed and I wake up with just bright skin. I love this. It costs a pretty penny but I think it's worth every darn penny for my skin anyways. And then I have another Ayuna product here. This is Ayuna cream number one. I did get a sample of the cream number two with my first essence that came in a Beauty Heroes box and I think I really preferred that. The cream number one is just okay. I really have to boost it with some face oil to add some more moisturizing properties and I really don't think it's it was all that hydrating for my skin. The cream that I'm using now, the Ursa Major cream, and I've also gone through two jars of the 100% pure um, night cream and so many other creams. They are so hydrating that I feel like it plumps my fine lines. This one did not. Um, I didn't see any kind of change in my skin at all while I was using this. 
And it's like $198 for 1.6 ounce of product. You can find better face creams, some of which I mentioned a little bit earlier, that are way better than this. I have another face cream here by Andalou Naturals. It's their Goji Peptide Perfecting Cream. I got this in a Pettivore box. Just this little sample, I was so impressed. It performed so much better than the Ayuna cream since we're in that topic. It's in a base of aloe and water and then followed by sunflower, seed oil, jojoba. It does have shea butter and a bunch of other stuff. It has vitamin C, CoQ10, white tea. So it's full of antioxidants and just very hydrating. I recommend this if you want a richer moisturizer. I have one face oil here and this is by Hunua Skincare. This is their Olena Beauty Oil. This lasted me such a long time, I think a whole year. This is one of the most healing oils that I have used. I reach for this whenever my skin is breaking out from my hormonal acne. It has turmeric in it, so it's very calming to the skin, which is very healing, and I loved everything about this. I have two sunscreens that we tried out in the summer that absolutely was a waste of everything. The first one is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Mineral Sunscreen. It has SPF 35. The other one is the Honest Company Pure Simple Honest Screen Spray. SPF 30. I like them for the ease of use. It's just easy to spray on and then rub in. But all of the physical sunblocks that I've used that came in the aerosol can, I've just not been impressed with. So I just use the physical sunblocks in the lotion form. And those I find uh, work a lot better. I have three makeup products here and then we'll be done. The first one is the Honest Beauty Truly Kissable Lip Crayon in Sheer Raspberry Kiss. That's what the color looks like. It's a very nice hot pink shade. I love this, very hydrating and very nourishing to the lips. It has a very sheer but buildable color payoff on the lips. Very nice and hydrating if I didn't already say that. I love this so very much. I talked about this in my 2018 makeup favorites and I got the Fit Glow Lip Serum in Live to replace this because everybody talks about the Fit Glow Lip Serum, right? But I really do prefer this as far as providing hydration and everything else. So I wish I just bought another one of these, but yeah will definitely be a repurchase for me. They have other shades too, and I know that I want to check some more out in the summer. And then I went through two mascaras. I went through the Honest Beauty Truly Lush Mascara. This is their old packaging. One side has the primer, and then the other side is the wand with the rubber bristle brush. And I really like this. It's very separating and volumizing and lengthening, and I'm pretty sure it's my holy grail. I've gone through many of these, and I've tried other mascaras and this is really just my favorite. And then another mascara is by Well People. This is, I don't know what they call this, I think Well People just has the one mascara. But this is what the wand looks like, another one with a rubber bristle brush. And this was also nice, it provided a more natural lash look than the Honest Beauty. And this also smudges, this one doesn't smudge, this one smudges terribly. <laughs> So again, I just prefer the Honest Beauty one. And that, it looks like, completes our first empties video of 2019. I know it was a long one. I hope you guys enjoyed anyways. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you on my next video. Bye!